Hi, welcome to the Foresight BI YouTube channel. My name is Ahmed Oyelowo. In this video, I will show you a workaround on how to use Power BI online service without a work or school email. Before now, it used to be through creating a Microsoft 365 developer account. But Microsoft now allows only paying subscribers of Visual Studio Enterprise to use the M365 developer account. So follow me as I show you a step-by-step -step guide to this new method. So we'll come over here to compare Microsoft 365 business plans. I'm going to have this link in the video descriptions below. So I will simply scroll down on this page and I want to use a free trial for any of these plans. It doesn't really matter which of the plans I select because what I'm interested in here is to get an email account that I can use for myself to interact with the Power BI service. So I will simply come to the Microsoft 365 Business Basic and I'm going to click on try free for one month. This brings me up to this page and what I'll be doing next is to complete the forms with the following details. How many people is this for? I will simply leave that as one. Then I will scroll down and click on next. For my email, I will enter my regular email address. So I'll be using my Gmail here and I'll click on next. Then it's going to bring me up to this page and a new account is about to be created for me. So I'll go ahead and click on set up account. Here I'll fill in my details. Ahmed Oyelowo. Analysts, I'll put in my phone number and then for company name, you need to just enter any name that you feel you can easily remember and I'll try to use a one word name here. So for me, I'll go ahead to put in something like my free power BI. Then for my company size, I will just stick to one person. Again, this really doesn't matter what you select here. I'll select my country and region. I'm going to scroll down and I'll click on next. On the security check page, I can select any of these two options depending on what the network situation is. I mean, if I don't get a text on time, I can switch to use the call me option. I'm going to use text right now. So I'll go ahead to click on send verification code. If I don't get the code on time, I can click on try again. Or I can click on change my phone number so I can switch from text me to call me. My code hasn't come in yet. So I'm going to click on try again, send verification code. Now I have it. I'll simply type it in. Then I'll click on verify. Now here's what I need. I need this username and this domain name. So which means the email I will be using for my Power BI is going to be Ahmed Oyelowo at my free Power BI 116.onmicrosoft.com. So I need to write that down somewhere or just make sure I commit it to memory. If I like, I can also play with this by customizing this domain name. I mean, I can remove this 116 for example. I'm going to try to save it and see if that name is available. So if this name is not available, I guess I'm going to have to stick with their 116 or I can really choose any other number. As long as that name is available, then I need to come back here and click on save. Now, before this is complete, I have to create my password for this address. So I'll go ahead to enter my password, confirm it, then I'll click on next. So this is going to bring me up to the final page that requires me to add my credit card details and provide my payment information. Now, if I want to go ahead to really do a Microsoft 365 trial, then I'll go ahead to add my payment details, but I don't really want to go ahead with the trial right now because I have a Microsoft account now that I can use to work with Power BI. So I can simply close this page right from here. Then I can open up another tab and I can type in powerbi.com. You see that it automatically detects that my email that I just created now Ahmed Oilo at my free power bi 116.onmicrosoft.com now if it doesn't get this automatically I can simply use it from the one I have written down to try and sign into power bi but I'm just going to complete these details here so I'll click on continue I'm going to select my country I'll put in my phone number then I'll scroll down and get started so my confirmation page shows me again what my username is for Power BI, Ahmed Oilo at my free Power BI 116.onmicrosoft.com. I will click on get started and I should be signed into Power BI with that email. So let me know in the comment section if this works for you. I hope it does. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, kindly do so by clicking on the subscribe button and also like and share this video.